Don't look at the bulge. The Me Plus Cake Podcast. Hey, it's the Me Plus Cake Podcast. You can hear us live weekday mornings at um, really early. Very, very early. In the morning. We're yes. streaming on Marconi One. If you didn't know that, we uh, are now doing a daily show, which you can hear the podcast form on uh, here on our podcast. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. Podcast on the podcast? Should I start over? No. I don't understand what I'm saying now. No, it's a good time. Oh, yeah. Keep rolling with it. <laughs> uh, we're on stream daily. Mm-hmm. You'll hear it first on Marconi One. Dot com or uh, tune in. We have the tune in app we're on too. Yeah, we do. And then later on, there's a replay in the afternoon. And then you can listen to it on our podcast. So there you go. The recap of yeah. glorious uh, yeah. times. So if you miss it the first time, but we, we suggest, we highly recommend listening to us as it happens. And you know why? Why? No, maybe I won't give the secret away. What do you mean you won't give the secret away? Oh, because we have Coachella, the ultimate Coachella. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes. The ultimate Coachella connection. The only way you can win is if you listen live. Yes. For the cue to call. Yeah. Or text. Text. Tone. Don't get text confused tones. on that because people are like, whoa. Text. But, but uh, yeah, we, we're giving away. Uh, you get to pick the weekend for Coachella. You do, indeed. And then uh, we give you hotel, airfare, ground transportation. All that stuff Mm -hmm. provided by Southwest Airlines. You're going to stay at Fantasy Springs Resort Casino. Beautiful. And ground transportation provided by Uber. Uber. The only way for you to listen, the only way for you to win. It's time to go to sleep, I think. (laughs) Take a nap. Uh, Listen to Me Plus Cake on Marconi One. Yes. Yep. Uh, But please enjoy the podcast. Won't you? Listen to all of it. Me plus cake. Marconi One. Plans are gathering for the work of a new day. Radio for the people. You know, Richard Sherman basically won the Super Bowl with the Seahawks, like the last play. It could have been over, and he tipped the ball, but he's not really that humble. He won the game to go to the Super Bowl, right? Yeah. Yeah. Is that what? What did I say? He, he won said the he Super won Bowl? the Super Bowl. <laughs> and it, well, the way he reacted, you would have thought he won the well, Super Bowl. Well, sometimes I know some things about football. Yeah, oh, you do? Yeah. Well, even though you're Canadian. Yeah. Uh, so okay, so this is. Uh, by the way, Sierra was in both cities the day of the game. I was. Yep. You were at the Seattle airport, and then you flew to Denver airport. I did. Yeah. Wow. I know. Look at look at you. Look I mean, at me go. And you didn't even. And she doesn't even care about football. Nope. Not even a little bit. <laughs> Not even a smidge. Well, you will li- after this Super Bowl. I will? Yeah. Oh, okay. So, uh, Richard Sherman is the reason a lot of people, you know, it's going around. They're talking about how much of a D-bag he is and all that kind of stuff. Yes. And it's because of this interview um, that at the end of the game is why. I mean, he was talking trash with uh, Crabtree, the guy that, uh, that, that he basically stole the chance to go to the Super Bowl from. Yes. The winning could have been the winning touchdown for the 49ers and no 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 but <laughs> richard, Denied. richard sherman is a, a trash talking dude Ugh. and so and a lot of people don't like that That's not- thank you so much richard let me ask you the final play take me through it well i'm the best one in the game when you try me with a sorry receiver like crouching that's the result you're gonna get don't you ever talk about me who is talking about you crouching don't you open your mouth about the best so first of all, he says he's the best. Uh huh. And when you, you set me up with this sorry receiver like Crabtree, that's what you're going to get. Wow. So he's you know, I mean, he just won. Does he really need to say that kind of stuff? Yeah. Like what? Why? And how about a little class? And then he says L O B, and everybody's like, "What is L O B? L O B, which means Legion of Boom." Boom. I don't even. <laughs> Like that kind of boom? Yeah. Like boom. <laughs> like boom. Boom. Like that? I don't know. But everybody's saying he's a douchebag. I think he kind of just seems, he comes off bad. And and then there are people, it's, it, it's a, a huge discussion on Facebook. On, comes off bad. That is bad. That's trash. And on my on my Facebook, 
I posted the thing, and, and a lot of people are just saying he is well educated man from Stanford who is playing a role. Do you get upset at your favorite actor when he plays a controversial role? Everyone has a right to an opinion, but sometimes people just hate for no reason. No, they're hating uh, for a reason. No. The guys, the you guy don't that, act like that when you're supposed to be a professional. I don't yeah. care if it's an act or not. Yeah, I don't care if you're playing a role, and I don't think he, I don't believe he's playing no, a role in any way. No, you don't trash talk people like that. No. You and guys are not, all in the same sport. Like, you guys both fought hard, and you just happened to win. Yeah, people are trying to defend it because, you know, he's... You know, on the Seahawks, so Seahawks fans are saying, "Hey, you know, he just won a championship," and I don't know. I think he could always be classy. Yeah, it's not necessary. You know, there are a lot of great players who don't act like assholes, like Peyton Manning, and also Wes Welker and Eric Decker, your favorite. Yeah, Champ Bailey. I don't know who that is. He's also on the Broncos. Oh, okay, oh, Derry, fifteen-year veteran of football, and you don't even know. Well, anyway. Sorry. He's the reason why I think I have to go with the Broncos, even though the Seahawks and Broncos are my two favorite teams. Everybody back uh, home likes the Seahawks, yeah, so well, it'll be you're, interesting. You're in Canada, BC, and that's the closest NFL team, right? Yes. So, of course. They're the 12th man. Yep. <laughs> well, anyway, I, I say go Broncos because of this guy. I don't want him to win a Super Bowl ring. Go Broncos. He's already cocky enough without one. Marconi plus Sierra is me plus K. Only on Marconi One. Radio for the people. L-O-B. L-O-B. Me plus cake, Marconi One, radio for the people. Sierra uh, was gone all last week. I was. And you were visiting family in Canada. That's what we'll call it. What? Oh, nothing. Is nothing. there something else you should call it? Um, no. Oh. <laughs> what you said, that's what we'll call it. I'm like, shh, we're not supposed to talk about this. We're, what? Secret what? mission. The secret? I told you. I don't have any clue what she's talking you. about. Well, I went to visit my family last <laughs> week. <laughs> yes. And you've you've lived here with me for how long? Seven long months. Oh, that's so mean. <laughs> so mean. Um, uh, glorious months you met, not long. Long months. But you miss your family. You've never lived away from your family before. Nope. And like me, who's not allowed to see my family. So, you know, if that restraining order and that kind of thing. Um, but I won't talk about that either. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> so, what, what, I mean, what did you do? Did you have any fun... I mean, because, you know, you, how many, you have three siblings, mm-hmm. you have uh, you have Taylor and then your twin brothers. Yes. And uh, fun times? Um, Most of it, yes. <laughs> now, you had a big sister moment, right? I did. Because your sister's, what, 12? 14. 14? She'll be 15 in two months. I don't know why I got so excited when I said 14. I know, whoa. <laughs> That's another thing we need to talk about. Four. <laughs> 14. <laughs> no, I did. Um, there's this boy who really likes my sister. We won't give names or do too many Let's embarrassments. Call him Chauncey for the Chauncey, because he was very Chauncey ish. Anyways, they. He shows up with his friend Chauncey outside our house. Is a guy? He showed up with a girl? No, he, he showed was, up with another guy. But oh, because Chauncey is, is supposed to be a girl. I know, but for oh. purposes of... We're changing the story. Chauncey and Steve. Names and stories. Chauncey and Steve showed up. Here. Okay, Chauncey and Steve, they show up outside my parents' house at 1130 at night on Tuesday... How weird is that? First of all, like, where are this kid's parents? He's fourteen. Right. I so, was always told, don't you know, don't bug people after nine o'clock. Yeah. So they were texting all night, and then anyway, so I see him out there, and I'm peeking through the door, like totally embarrassing her, and she's on the phone with um, her best friend who lives up the road, telling her to come over so they can go outside and talk to these boys. So they just what sit in the driveway and just, she- yes, they were just standing there, and I was like, let me go say hi, and she was like, literally. Every fiber of her being was blocking me from exiting the door. But I did, of course. I was like, move out of my way. Like, I'm going out there. So I went out there, and they started to walk away because they thought that I was um, my stepmom. And I was like, easy, boys. Like, it's okay. Like, I just want to talk to you for a sec. Uh, 
And so I was like, which one of you is Chauncey? And I spoke to Chauncey, and Steve was nice, well, too. I don't know what a Chauncey look like. Did he look like a goob? No, I thought he was really cute. He would have been, like, my kind of guy in school, in middle school. Oh, now this just got weird. Well, <clears throat> he was cute. I thought he was really cute. <clears throat> wow. Steve was not so cute, but Chauncey was pretty cute, so... Mm-hmm. Um, Is that something you're not telling me? Are there laws in Canada that... <laughs> Ew, weirdo. No. Well, you're the one who said... I said when I was in middle school, he would have been the boy that I would have had a crush on. All right. When I was my sister's age. Anyways, so basically I just had a little talk with him and... And how'd that go? It was... I don't know. I just said... And then Taylor came outside and her little friend joined her and... No, what did the talk go? I mean, how? what'd you say? Oh, I said, um... Why are you out so late? Are you cold? You know, just like the typical like elderly person thing. <laughs> and, and what was his response? I, I'm out because I'm a drunk. I'm a town. Drunk. Well, and then he's like, "Yeah, I don't do drugs." Oh. And I was like, "Good." Otherwise, and did like the neck chopping thing, and my sister oh. was so embarrassed. She's like, "Go inside." Why? Why do teenagers get so embarrassed over the silliest? I don't know. But then she mouth. came downstairs after talking to him outside for like twenty minutes and was like, "Oh my god, you're so creepy! Like you're so..." And I was like, "Taylor, you will thank me one day. Maybe well, not I'll right now, but because you just said he was the kind of guy you would date." When I was in middle, like, he was a cute boy. Girls understand what I'm talking about when I'm saying this, but. Yeah. If I said that, if I, in the same situation, if I said, she was cute, she's the kind of girl that I would date if I was in middle school. Yeah. You'd be like, you're a creep. No, it would have been like the kind of girl you would have, you know, like a sporty girl or like a nerdy girl, like that kind of thing. Sure. Mm-hmm. Whatever. Anyway, Anyways. So you did your big sisterly duty. I did, and she was embarrassed. But you're you're happy because you know I am happy, and I actually think that he's in. I told her that she should give him a chance. So you're, you're put on earth to torture your sister, right? No, she's just was way over the dramatics. I didn't say anything embarrassing. Sure I threatened did. to kill him, but well, that's nothing. No, that's like what a big sister does, right? Exactly. So, one day, job. Taylor, you will thank me. I know you don't think so now, but bravo, Sierra Cake, bravo. Yes. If anybody needs me to have a talk with their younger siblings, significant others. Yeah, especially if they're I'm for the hire. kind of guy she would date in middle school. Oh, whatever. <laughs> Find me plus cake on Pinterest, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and more. Click the cake button on Marconi1.com. Radio for the people. Me plus cake, Marconi1 radio for the people. Sierra is... Trying to befriend my cat right now. Trying to. Do you see her like literally drooling on my lap? Have you seen her be mean to anyone? No. Ever? So. Well, Bijou and her have had it out a few times. That's different. That's not human. Well, all right. Of course, she loves you. Whatever. She does. You know, She's I'll, gripping onto my robe right now, like many for dear have, life. I'm trying to get into oh, sorry, the topic sorry, of conversation. Sorry. God, yeah, enough okay. about our cute, adorable animals. God. <laughs> Uh, a lot of people have smartphones and they don't even use the features that are on them. I don't. Like what? Do you, what don't you use? That, Siri. I don't really use Siri either. I think it's like a novelty thing, and it doesn't really work that well. My so. dad keeps calling it Surrey. Well, he's Canadian, so he can. How dare you? But he doesn't have app on iPhone. He no, has. but the boys got um, iPad Minis for Christmas. Do they have iPad? Do they have Siri on iPad? I don't. Yeah. Have one. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. I didn't even know that, but the the thing is, is like Siri doesn't seem to know anything really. No, she doesn't. I mean, it was more like for fun. Even though they have a movie now with Joaquin Phoenix, it's basically based on a relationship the guy has with Siri, which is weird. Yeah, but she has more of a personality than Siri. It's just it's creepy. It is. That would be weird. I wonder. I bet you there is like, some sort of like, like Siri fetish. Out it's there. like dating someone on the internet. Oh, yeah. wait. Let me tell you a story about For that. For a whole year before you even meet them. Oh, That's wait. weird. Yeah. It's the weirdest thing you could ever do. Don't so do this, it. This article in particular talks about, like, there's devices, sophisticated, and uh, people don't, they only use, like, 62% of the the whatever is on the phone. I, I don't really text that much. Like, the most I do is I texted you when you're in Canada. Yep. But texting is kind of... A thing of the past, really. It's decli- declining more and more. I use WhatsApp mostly. Yeah, but it, and we used Voxer a lot, mm-hmm. which is a walkie-talkie app. 
But I, I don't know. Like your dad is a, a prime example. Like your dad and my mom are kind of technology technologically in the same zone. <laughs> yes. Because your dad can get it. He's a smart guy. He just doesn't care or want to. But no. He likes know- it. He likes things to be simple when it comes to that kind of stuff. But have you noticed that your dad, now that you're not living there, is kind of upgrading himself a little bit? A and, little bit, yeah. Because he has to. He do still stuff. doesn't quite get it, but. And my mom, trying. like, you could text her on Monday and she wouldn't get back to you, like, till like, Saturday. Yeah. That's like my dad. But if I or he'll answer a question from, like, three days ago. Well, yeah. and or, But I'll Facebook message my mom and she'll answer, like, the next day. Yeah, my dad doesn't have Facebook either. Oh, he's not on Facebook either? Nope. I thought you told me your dad was, like, creeping on my Facebook profile. Yeah, through my stepmom's Facebook. Oh, okay. <laughs> I see. Oh my gosh. Okay, so what are the what are the big things that people aren't using? Because like to me, I, I, there's only so much you can do with your phone that you want to do. I mean, there's so many functions. I mean, I have a million apps and I use a lot of stuff. But like, I tweet from my phone. Yeah. And I I, I look at Facebook on my phone. I don't know. There's must be like the built-in uh, maps, baby. I use Google Maps. Yeah, but that's not the built-in one, is it? Yeah, but the one that Apple has isn't great. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's one of the apps so that So am probably... I incompetent because I don't use Apple Maps? Yeah, how dare you? Well, what if I don't have an iPhone? Like, what if... Does that mean they're incompetent because they're not... Well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I just answered my own question. Jeez. <laughs> well... It helps us start the day with warmth and vigor. Me plus Kate. Marconi One. Radio for the people. This is an awful story. Um, I guess a mother kills her two children while performing an exorcism? Yes. Tell me about this story. She, well, I'm assuming that she's not quite well in the head. Yeah. Because you don't just do this to, the kids were only one and two. What? A boy and a girl, yep. And she, it doesn't give you like the details or anything, which is fine by me. But yeah, it's sad. Basically, she she and another person who was 21 were arrested for the murder of. I mean, I know we watch a lot kids. of movies and stuff about exorcisms, but isn't it only supposed to be done by a priest? Yes, it is. And you don't exercise a one and two year old because that's how one and two year olds are. They're crazy. <laughs> It so, doesn't mean they need exorcisms. What, just like the normal behavior of a two-year-old? They're just, she decided that they were demon-possessed? Probably. I mean, it doesn't really give you too many details about, like, why she did it. But yeah. basically, yeah. That's... And she, I'm sure she'll undergo, like, psych evaluations and stuff. The, of course, the, she'll get off because she's nuts. Probably. The other person was a, a male, and he was in the hospital. And then when he was released, he was promptly arrested for... Wow. Murders, yeah. Oh, is this is this him here? He's the twenty one year old guy. Yeah, the one in the corner there. Yeah, he looks he looks like he's possessed. I know. So does she though? Did you yeah. see her eyebrows? Jeez. I don't know. People who are so sure that everything like that just is creepy. Two, yeah. A one and two year old are possessed and they need a That's, exorcism. No, you're definitely not okay in the head. Use some common sense. What is wrong with people? I don't know, but we're very sad. So. Well, yeah, I'm gonna exercise myself though. For having to read this story. I know, how awful. The B Plus Cake Podcast. There's a weird trend going on in middle schools where kids are snorting smarties. You know what I think about this stuff when people are like, oh, the trend with the middle schoolers. I don't even believe <laughs> half of this stuff. Yeah, I don't really believe that it's like a trend. Snorting smart? How? They like, show it me the percentage of people in the United States. That are like, yeah, I've actually done that. Oh, yeah. That's really cool. I oh, once yeah. had a friend in middle school who said he was going to crush rockets, the white rockets, into a fine powder and sell it as cocaine. And I was like, you will die in about a day. I don't know what white rockets are. Is that a Canadian the, candy? Uh, no, like the, the old school like rockets. It's like the main picture on there. Oh, I didn't see that. the rockets candy. They're like really old school, like tiny little like pucks. They're not. Yeah, they're Smarties. No, they're not. That's what it's. That's what this whole article is about. Smarties. I thought they were rockets. Don't, don't confuse me with Canadian candies. It's not rockets. Are not Canadian. No, nobody talks. I'm about, opening this. No, nobody. You don't. Right now. You, I, you don't even know what you're talking about. You don't even know. You're you're drunk. You're drunk. <laughs>
Those are rockets right there. They're called this. Smarties. Those are rockets. It says on the pack, S M A. R T I E S. Oh, okay. Well, it's the exa- it literally looks the exact same thing as. What do you think? The, the th- I thought they were starting like the chocolate Smarties. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> okay. I don't even. Uh, where to begin? Oh, should we just shut her down? I mean, I don't even oh. know what to do at this point. Okay, now I get it. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay, so. So just say it. You were right. I was wrong. No, because it's both right. Google here. I'm not Googling any foreign candies. I, okay, you continue with the story. I'm just going <laughs> to... Uh, to all our fr- Canadian friends listening, do you, have you heard of rockets before? I don't think they exist. I think she's making yes, it up. Yes, no, look. Rockets. Rockets. What, the, look. It says... What does it say? Rockets. So in Canada, the rockets in yes. America, they're Smarties? I didn't know they were called please, Smarties. Please somebody figure out this. That's weird. It looks like the same exact exact. I know, packaging. and we always got. Okay, so we're look, both look, right look. Then? Yeah, look. We're comparing photos on the and internet. And somewhere else is there's a fizzler. Is a fizzler? Fizzers. Okay. Wow. Wow. Anyway, I guess middle schoolers, according to this article, are snorting the fizzler. Okay, well that makes more sense because I was like, who's crushing up like sm- the chocolate Smarties? <laughs> I was like, that's weird. <laughs> Okay, this is a little more believable then. <laughs> oh, well, now it's I see. Now it's not as controversial as you thought. It's like, oh, I can I I can see snorting those. I'll well, just because kids once, no once kids are so stupid. So I actually saw somebody snort a pixie stick once. That's gross. I know. I was like, what is wrong with you? So I mean, that's it, a gateway drug. But of course, leave it to the people that like blow things out of proportion. Parents are like, well, we've got to watch our kids and what kind of habits they're doing. And your, your kids may not, they may not be, they may be the opposite of smarties. I had a friend who was younger than me and he would snort crushed up ibuprofens. So that's a problem, not freaking smarties. Like, yeah. really? Well, what's good is, is, are smarties a gateway drug? I don't know. Well, it's kind of freaky in the sense that, like, they're trying to snort something. Yeah. It, which is eventually going to lead into. Just, I, I'm sorry. Your kids nose are candy. Yeah. It's, it's okay. Stupid is as stupid as. So stop snorting Coke in front of your kids. <laughs> yeah, maybe that's what happened. And buying them Smarties. Me, me, me plus cake. Marconi One. Radio for the people. It is a pleasant spur to the morning's work. We watch a lot of shows, movies on Netflix. Sarah watched one. I don't think I've seen this one, but we're basically, if you have Netflix, a lot of times I'm always like, what, what are we, wa- I don't know what oh. to watch. Well, Netflix is mostly just spending time finding the mo- a movie to watch. It's a lot of work. Yes, it so is. So we thought we might try and help. Yes. And if this helps, maybe recommend a movie that you might like, so be it. Well, I watched a movie on Netflix actually when I was traveling in my travels. Called on Syrup? On my iPad, yes. Was it was it called delicious? Syrup. It had Amber Heard, which I, who I love. She's so cute. And why do they call it Syrup? Um, because basically the movie is about... Eating pancakes? No, it's about marketing a cola. Oh. And in the movie, he says, if it's not for marketing, in the end, all it is is just water and syrup. Oh, okay. Boom, right? So, so it's a movie about kind of a douchey guy marketing things? No. Oh. Why do you assume it's a douche? I don't know. If somebody says something like that, I'd say, oh, you're probably a Because he's guy. in marketing. Right. Hey, I'm in marketing. Is he one of but they, they name one of the cans. Well, I can't say it because it's not appropriate for it's swear words. Oh. Yeah. So they name it like, come up with a name that would work. Then. Duck. <laughs> And they name the other the can. F word, you mean? They name yes. They name the other can. No, because they name it F U K K. What What are cans in the movie? I don't understand. Like a can of Coke. Oh, okay. Oh, right, right, right. And then they the rival team names theirs. <laughs> I wish that I could just say it because their slogans were so funny. But the other one is um, K O K, like oh. a rooster. Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> And it was delicious. And so it's about them competing, like it's Pepsi and Coke, basically? Um, well, it's about this guy who gets the idea for the duck one. Mm-hmm. And he doesn't, he tells his roommate about it, who's like, um, 
ends up going and buying the rights for it, and he gets the credit for it, and just, like starts up this huge company based on the other guy's idea. And so the Which girl happens, yeah. So the girl who's the main marketer girl, she's like the best part of the whole movie, decides to quit and start it up with the other guy who had their idea in the first place to create Rooster. <laughs> Rooster. Yes. Rooster and Duck. <laughs> oh, good time. It sounds yeah. delicious. So, yeah, it was good, though. If, you, if you're into marketing, it's pretty good. Do you have to like soda to enjoy this movie? Um, no. <laughs> but if anybody who's gone to school for marketing or entrepreneurship, mm-hmm. it's so funny because I, I did and I yeah. got all the things. Like, we're so funny. So, so you recommend it highly? What's say highly? It was good. It wasn't great, but How it was many, good. On a scale of one to five Sierra cupcakes, mm-hmm. how many would you give it? Three. Three? Yes. There you go. So check it out on Netflix. It's called Syrup. Yep. And uh, that is Sierra on Netflix Cinema. Dun, 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 dun. And you're listening to Marconi One. You're welcome. They met on the internet, and now they're on Marconi One. It's me plus cake. Radio for the people. Well, hello there. It's me plus cake on Marconi One Radio for the, the people. People, right? Yes, you knew. You know what I was about to say. Mm-hmm. Just jump right in because that's how it rolls. It's drilled into my head. You know, leggings are a big thing for the ladies. Yes. And uh, I like when you wear leggings. I think it's cute. Thanks, because they always... make my bootay look good, don't they? Hey. Yes. Let's not get. You know, this is a family show. Oh gosh. <sighs> All I, right. Uh, but now they have leggings for men. Mm-hmm. I'm, and they're called meggings. Because they had they had like uh, pajama jeans for women, and they were called jeggings. Remember that? No, they were. I have a pair of jeggings. Still, it's jeans that are like stretchier. Like, well, I don't have like the ugly jeggings, like. The jeans that I have are jeans, but they're stretchier, uh-huh. so they called them jeggings, but they're... I have jeans that have stretchy material, but those are just my pregnant pants. Oh, God. <laughs> Lord but, have mercy. But meggings are like, you know, just... Can we not call them meggings? <laughs> Can we not encourage that, please? Uh, why do they... I mean, these aren't going to be a thing, are they? I mean, they just... For the love them. of Jesus, they better not. Uh, please. And this, even the guy in the picture in this article does not look happy about it. No, who would be? Yeah. The, His business is like oh, all and, stuck up in there. And then there's like, a, he's wearing a pair of gold ones in the, another picture. Well, and I know. Ones. I feel like there's like a market for this kind of stuff. Well, but, what would you wear these for though? Well, I like, feel what? like maybe like not so manly men would like these things. Sure. Okay. So like maybe working out, I could see guys wearing meggings. I said don't. <laughs> Unless you want to sleep on the floor tonight. Uh, it's my bed. Well. How dare you? I've already taken control of it. How dare you threaten it. me with sleeping on the floor? Yeah. Sleep on the floor. No. Sleep on the deck. <laughs> Next to the pee pad. I'll lock you out of the house. No, you won't. <laughs> I, I'm on the lease. You can't do that. So am I. Yeah. So I can't sleep on the floor either. Yes, you can. In my contract. If you're in trouble. No. Nope. That's what happens. No. I'm, it's, come on. Fine. I'll, I'll, don't don't you make me wear leggings for men. I will never ever make you do that. Yeah, I, I will wear them in in my la 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 yeah. la la la. So anyway, these are ret- <laughs> these are so stupid looking. I don't know. I think you're right though. Like somebody fashion might think that they're cool. Is this what Kanye was talking about when he was getting all up in arms about leather pants, Le- leather workout pants? That's just. Maybe I don't know. They're ridiculous. Uh, check out check out m- meggings for yourself. Do, and see. Or don't, please. Yeah, you Do us don't. all a favor. Just skip it. Just take Ugh. our word for it. God, you should have heard him this morning. Me plus Kate, Marconi One Radio for the people. Here's a weird story. A guy, a kid, a teen was shot. <laughs> you know, like the the typical. Doorbell prank where you put a Nicky ba- Nicky nine doors, a bag of flaming poo on the guy's oh. door, and then you're supposed to stomp it out because it's on fire and it's poo. I would not do that. Yeah, I mean, uh, I would just let it burn. I'd be like, well, you let your house catch on fire. It's not going to catch your house on fire. Well, how do you know? It's a bag of crap burning on your porch, right? It's which, not going to catch on which fire. Could ca- like if you had a wooden porch or something. Or, uh, I don't think so. It's going down. 
Your house is timber. Well. Anyway, so this kid did it, and I, the guy met up with him in the alleyway and <laughs> shot it. One guy was, <laughs> one teen was shot in the leg, and the other, I guess he missed him, but they fired him at him, and they ended up in the hospital. Side note, gun story. Did you hear about the ex-cop who shot the guy in the theater and killed him because he was on his phone? That was yeah, everywhere. Oh yeah. That yeah. Was, yeah. Whoa, but people. This, but this in particular, like, have you ever done any weird pranks on people that, because if you do it to the wrong person, is this No, I don't, now? because I'm afraid of people. But I'm scared do, of everyone. Wouldn't you do a prank on a friend and not just some random stranger? I don't do pranks, because I don't want pranks done to me. Right. Yeah. So, like, like, people like, you know, they always talk about movie stars. If anybody on, thinks they're going to prank me, they have another thing coming. They always talk sure. about movie stars on sets doing pranks on each other, and- well, and they always go, oh, I understand you're quite the prankster. Yeah, because you're sitting down on a movie set for, like, hours at a time waiting to be called. Yeah, but set. that's just fun stuff. That's, like, not trying to, like, like, some of the prank versus prank stuff that we watch on YouTube. Yeah. I would be pissed if somebody did that stuff to me. Well, oh, well, that kills our whole me plus cake YouTube idea. Yeah, don't. Well. Don't. No. I'll don't. I have to come up with some other ideas. Yeah. <clears throat> anyway. <gasps> Just but, saying, you might die. And, so, the, I mean, they were lucky they didn't get killed. Uh, yeah. But is this guy at fault? I mean, should he be charged with, you know, because he shot them? Yes, I do, because violence is never the answer, right. first of all, listeners. I, I, I don't care what happens. Violence is never the answer for anything. You can verbally assault somebody and get your anger out, and that's good enough. I mean, I guess maybe this guy's claiming that uh, he didn't know what they were, like, trying to rob his house or something. Or- yeah, but then you don't shoot them when they're in an alley. Right. So. That's weird. He was, I mean, I'm guessing the guy was had a few drinks or something. Maybe it was high. Probably. He was and probably decided, on. oh, I'll get my gun. He was on the meths or uh, something. On the meth. Yes, exactly. The moral of the story, don't do shoot people. pranks on strangers that you have no idea. They might be crazy. And don't be so damn gun happy. Yes. Both. Use your Use your words. Right. Marconi Baloney, Sierra Cake. Me plus Cake, Marconi One. Radio for the people. It's a weird thing, and I don't know, I think this has been going on for a while, but people tagging people in videos where they drink weird stuff or eat strange <sighs> Jeez, things. Jeez, this isn't like, done yet. Okay, you do it. I, no. I guess it's becoming like more and more of a thing, even though, though I thought this was kind of like Pathetic. On the outs, like the whole cinnamon challenge thing. Remember that? Yeah, people do dumb things on YouTube and then oh they'll tag God. their friends or somebody that they think should do it. And then that person feels like, oh, I better do the. I'll tell you this right now our YouTube videos, I will never do any of the dumb like challenges. No, like, it, I don't want to die. So. Me, yeah, I'm not going to put, like, I'm not going to drink something weird or no. eat something weird. No. I mean, I'll, like, if somebody says, like, tag, like, the. The 50 things about you. That's one thing. But like these are like drink some weird booze or some some elixir that you come up with. And no, no, sir. Not for me. I mean, doesn't it seem like more and more there are so so many sheep that just will. Yes, like the baby food challenge or like the the can challenge where you eat like dog food and stuff. Yeah. Like, I guess drinkers are posting videos of themselves downing huge amounts of alcohol including strong lager, vodka, and bottles of Jaeger, before nominating someone else to try to outdo them. Do, you, do these people want to die? Like, I don't understand. <laughs> and I don't understand, too. Like, if, you, if, if it's on video, why not just make it look like it's that drink in a bottle and then just fake it? Yeah, because like, then everybody's going to be like, oh, fake. But you know, like the same one, like how would they ever know if it was vodka or water? You couldn't tell the difference on camera. Because people, well, you watch these videos. Have you ever heard of the guy Shoe Nice? No. Or maybe it's Show Nice. Okay, well, you have to watch his videos because he gets challenged to like eat like three raw steaks and like down like a whole like thing of Jack Daniels and oh, like 10 like seconds right up my and alley, stuff. Like something I'd want to watch. It's Insane! It's like the crazy. He's like a professional stunt guy, so so he'll like he'll just take the challenge from anyone. Well, depending what it is, but well, let's yeah, challenge shoe nice then. 
Well, no, he's pretty big on YouTube. Is she nice? Eat a whole giant block of cheese. Go. She's done that before. He has? Yes. See, now I'm jealous. I think. Now, now I'm hungry for something with cheese on it. But he does these, like, are he'll down, like, an entire, what are the sizes? I don't even know what they're called. What do you mean? Like, the big ones. For what? Of alcohol. Uh, like, like. Like a fifth? Like, lick, like vodka. That's. Dumb. Like, absolute. Yeah, that's just. He'll down a whole thing of that in, like, ten seconds. Well, we don't know if it's real or not. It could be drinking water. No, right? because he does it, he opens the bottle right in front of the camera. Yeah, he could, he could have. Fix that so it's no. Like it. You could add sound effects. In no, there. you have to watch it because it's insane. All right, but professionals so, should. It sorry, like professionals. A brilliance in YouTubery. God, Here just what just you don't. Do you value your existence? Because you need to stop that. Yeah. So yeah, whatever you love do, of whatever you're thinking those. about doing. If you're thinking of doing a video uh, where you drink a bunch of liquor and then tag somebody and then take that challenge, stop it. You want to kill all your friends. Yeah, just you want to be responsible for that. Shut it down. Brother, that next morning. Me plus cake. I never felt worse. Marconi one. Radio for the people. The Super Bowl um, has been decided who will be playing. Dun, da, da, da. And I don't know. I think I said this a few times. It would be insane if it was the Seahawks. You did. And You've the been saying it all season. And my two favorite teams are now in the Super Bowl. And very difficult because, you know, I'm a huge Broncos fan and I love the Seahawks. I'm from the Northwest. So it's kind of like, wow, I like both teams. So it'll be good if both win, right? No. Or if either wins, I mean. I think, well, then a lot of reasons. Richard Sherman makes me, puts me off on the Seahawks. (laughs) Yeah. He's he's already cocky enough the way it is without winning a Super Bowl. There's no one on the Broncos that acts like that. They're all like seemed like good guys so i don't know i just i'm just, I, i'm i'm excited that it's going to be a great super bowl two great cities that have you know like the last time the broncos were in the super bowl was 1998 and britney spears hit me baby one more time was the number one song in the country yes so i think it's kind of cool that you know these two in, in, in franchise history the seahawks have, this is their second time and the last time it was against the Steelers and they lost. So Well, I don't know who it's going to be. Well, I mean, you're going to root for the Broncos, right? Um, what do you mean? You don't even but care. But all my friends at home like the Seahawks, so. Who's your boyfriend? Well. You had to think about it? <laughs> you didn't know the answer to that? <laughs> like if somebody said, who's my girlfriend? And I was like, um. No, I was con- I was still contemplating this yeah, whole yeah, scenario. Right. Uh huh. Sure. Listen. So you you're gonna go with, even though you don't care at all about. No, the- I'll cheer for the freaking Broncos. Obviously. Oh yeah, I don't force you. Yeah. You didn't even care like at all. At all. I know I don't and now care. You care? No, I don't at all. So now it's the freaking. I'm just Broncos? saying. No, I'm neutral. Obviously, you're not. Whoever wins, I will be happy. No, no. You just said you're going to cheer for the frickin' Broncos. Yeah. So you can't be neutral frickin now. Frickin' Broncos. So you're either a neutral or you're for the Broncos. I have Broncos. Mm, no, I'm neutral. What? Yes. So what? <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> I'm just trying to rattle your chains, honey. You told me when we started dating that you would you would root for the Broncos. Okay, you, then I, I root for the Broncos the jersey, damn you would wear Broncos, it. yes. Now they're the damn Broncos? Yes! Oh, my God. <laughs> Marconi Plus Sierra is Me Plus K. Only on Marconi One. Radio for the people. Now you can quit your job via text. Great. As if there's not enough heartbreaking Why, What are you doing? You're not done. texting right now, are you? To no. me? No. Oh, okay, good. But I will if you don't watch out. <laughs> so I guess you can. it gives you like the opportunity to say... Something like, hey, I f-, F you, I'm done. I'm sick of the corporate world. I want to get rich. I found a new job, blah, blah, blah. That's and, ridiculous if I ever heard something ridiculous. Well, you were telling me about people that break up via text. And Someone just today uh, had the most like harshest like text message ever sent to them. And I was just like, how do you ever do that to someone? Yeah, how do you? How Unless do you- it gets really bad, then I could be like, yeah, like. I yeah, but by that, then but. you've already known. Like it's it's just like a final like, yes. hey, you know, yes, we're broken up. Like God, confirming. People are so nasty. But yeah, I don't I don't think that you know you should do anything. Like, but I do remember 
when you had to call in to work, like if you were sick Oof. and tell your boss, like, I don't feel, and you had to kind of, if you, if you wanted to ham, you know, make it sound even more believable, you'd be like, <coughs> I don't feel well. Yes. And now you can just email yeah. work, which is fine. But, you know, I don't like... You can email? Oh, no. I see. I couldn't do that with any of the jobs I've had. Really? No. I can text my bosses and say I'm not feeling well. Oh, no. I texted my boss once and she, like, freaked the F out on me. Really? She made me come in, yeah, the next day. You were, And you were dying. Yeah, I was really sick. But, I don't know, quitting your job via text? I mean, if you, unless you really hated your job and you didn't care. That's the same thing, though. Like, if you really hated the relationship you were in and you were just, like, so done... Yeah. That I could see. And like, same with working, but people need to just stop doing Yeah, but you think about stuff. it like what goes around comes around. You're exactly. Gonna up, you're going to end up needing a job, maybe. Don't burn your bridges. My dad has always said that yeah. to me. Don't ever talk trash about Anyone. companies Anything. previously. Right. Don't talk trash. Yeah, don't talk mean about people because he always said, like, one day that person might be your boss at like your dream job. What are you going to do then? Right. And I think that uh, sometimes that's true because, especially like in radio, a lot of times you may have been fired like 10 years ago yes. and then the company are like, oh, well, it's been 10 years. We could hire him back. Mm-hmm. So you, you don't want to do that. And quitting via text, that's like the worst thing. I, I think. know. You might and well I've, just... I've seen like my bosses have that done to them and it's just like it's so weird. frustrated. Yeah. Well, just whatever you do, don't do it. Don't do it. Me plus cake. Marconi one. Lambs are gathering for the work of a new day. Radio for the people. A botched execution leads a family to want to sue yes he was on death row this guy Mm -hmm. for rape and murder okay and his family is like saying that he for like 30 minutes he was gasping for air and all kinds of stuff because it was a new experimental type of drug okay for euthanasia that's what it's called for humans right I think it's for animals, but oh, okay. execution, well, whatever. I don't know. Death, death purposes. I mean, all I needed to know when I looked at this article is the guy had uh, raped murdered. and killed someone. Yeah, I mean, and then the family is like upset because they felt like he was done wrong because his execution <sighs> didn't go. Smoothly. This makes me so mad because how can they justify being upset over this when? They said that it was like a torture thing, Wait, right? Hold on a second. <laughs> so you can get this out website of your with habit. the article just started like going, and I can't so you stop can it. Explore a new frontier. Wait, here we go. There. Way to ruin a serious moment. Well, <laughs> the banjo music started. Playing. I'm just saying. I think that it's so messed up that this family thinks that this guy was tortured. Yeah, in some way. But. But is what, raping and murdering somebody not torturing them like yeah, what is about, not a uh, form of torture? What about the girl that and she was pregnant? The girl that he killed. Oh my god! Yeah. So it, it, this whole story just makes me so angry. Like absolutely zero sympathy for this guy. Sorry. Yeah. So nope. I just I just look at it like what this guy did wrong. He knew. I mean, this was like brutally of, wrong. Not even yeah. just like. Wrong. Not like he robbed somebody. He he killed. He raped and murdered a pregnant woman. Yeah. Like that is not okay. I don't care. No. No sympathy. Sorry. So then then his family is like, nope. Yeah. They they should be. I don't even feel bad for them. Like, what are you thinking? Why would you ever have sympathy for someone like that? The the fact that they're related to a guy that murdered and and raped someone. Yeah. I understand. Like, it's your family, but still, yeah. how could you ever be okay with somebody in your family doing that? Yeah, I, I don't. If somebody in my family d- committed that crime, and then w- something went wrong in their execution when they were on death row, I would be like, "Hey, you, you get that's what you karma, get. honey." Yep. You know, so uh, there you go. That's that's our verdict. Yep. <laughs> 